Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Project Medical. Today's interesting topic is Clavipectoral Fascia. This Clavipectoral Fascia is a fibrous sheath. It is present in pectoral region, that is the front of the chest. So this Clavipectoral Fascia is present over here in the front of the chest. <coughs> Come to the attachment of clavipectoral fascia. As the name suggests, the clavipectoral fascia should be attached to clavicle and the uh, pectoralis muscle. This pectoralis minor to be specific. So basically this clavipectoral fascia is attached to Clavicle superiorly and pectoralis minor beginning from third, fourth, and fifth rib inferior. So, this is with the extent of clavicle fascia. It will enclose this muscle and extend onto the axilla. Superiorly, it also encloses one more muscle which is right beneath the clavicle. The name of the muscle is subclavius so superior will encloses one more muscle called subclavius so this clavipectoral fascia inclines deep to the pectoralis major muscle it extends from the clavicle above to the axilla below okay on its way it encloses two muscle one is subclavius the other one is pectoralis minor. So, if you show the same thing in a cut section, it will be easier for you even to present in the exam. This is the cut section of the clavicle. Let's consider this as an axilla, and these two as the muscles. This is underneath the clavicle, so it is subclavius. Same thing like this side. And this is one more muscle. This pectoral is minor. So here is the clavicle fascia. In the simplest depiction is enclosing the subclavius. It's rejoining and splitting again to enclose the pectoral is minor. Then extending the axilla up to the axillary fascia. This portion of the clavicle fascia is thickened to form suspensory ligament of the axilla. So if somebody asks what is suspensory ligament of the axilla, suspensory ligament of the axilla is a modification of clavicle fascia. From the level of pectoral is minor in this level to the level of the axillary fascia The thickening on the clavipectoral fascia is called a suspensor ligament of axilla. There is a reason why it's called so because if we cut this portion, the axillary fascia, the axilla or the armpit is going to get depressed like this. It will just fall down like this. Therefore, it is aptly called as suspensor ligament of axilla. So to summarize. Attachment of the clavicle fascia. It's a fibrous sheath superior attached to clavicle, inferior attached to axilla. As the suspensor ligament of axilla. It encloses two muscles, subclavius and pectoralis minor. Medially, it is continuous with the <coughs> external intercostal muscle and its fascia. Laterally, up to the coracoid process. Up to the coracoid process. That is a medial and lateral extent. This muscle encloses subclavius and pectoralis minor. And a modification of this is called as suspensory ligament of axil. The clavicle fascia is pierced by three structures mainly. They are called van, van structures. One vein, one artery, and then nerve. So which is the vein? The vein is cephalic vein. 
the vein which passes through the lateral border of the upper limb. Hmm? The PS is applied to the fascia to end in the subclavian vein. It's called cephalic vein. It can also end in the axillary vein. The next structure is the artery. What is the artery? Thoracoacromian artery. Thoraco acromion artery and the N is for the nerve which nerve it's a lateral pectoral nerve so usually it's a three marks question name the structures PS body appears in the clavipectoral fascia its simplest mnemonic is van one vein one artery and one nerve the vein name is cephalic vein Artery is thoracoacromial artery and the nerve is lateral pectoral nerve. This is a frequently asked question because all the three structures, the vein, artery, and nerve, are not identical, they are different. So, before being a student, you should think like an examiner. So, this can this be a question or femoral triangle contents can be a question? Femoral vein, femoral artery, femoral nerve, femoral part of it. Nobody will ask that type of question. Structures piercing clavicular fascia can be a question. In addition to this, they have one more content: the lymphatics from the mammary gland. This mammary gland. Lymphatics from the mammary gland going towards the apical group of axillary lymph nodes. When the lymphatics from mammary gland is a content which pierces the clavicular fascia. So clavicular fascia is a fibrous sheath. The posterior lamina can go and enclose the axillary sheath and even the investing layer of deep cervical fascia. Structures piercing clavicular fascia is remembered by mnemonic van, one vein, one artery, and one nerve, cephalic vein, thoracoacromial artery, lateral pectoral nerve. Lymphatics from the mammary gland also pierces the clavicular fascia to reach the apical group of axillary lymph nodes. Thank you for watching and learning from Logic Medical. Kindly consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to press the thumbs up icon showing that you like this video. Share this video with your friends. Thank you once again. Have a good day. Bye.